Hey, this is Will from Lifter LMS. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can add a quiz into a Lifter LMS course. So here you can see I'm in my WordPress website with Lifter LMS installed, and I'm on the courses area here on the sidebar. And from here, I'm gonna click on Builder on this specific course, and this is where I can see the layout or the skeleton of my course. I can see all my sections uh, that organize my lessons. I'm gonna click Expand All over here just so I can get a little bit of a clearer view. And the quiz area is this little icon that has a question mark on each lesson. So if I wanted to click add a quiz right there, it's gonna pop up the sidebar where I can either create a new quiz or add an existing quiz. Adding a, an existing quiz would be like cloning a quiz that already exists. So if you wanted to, uh, maybe if you had a 100 question quiz and you wanted to copy that over without copying and pasting all 100 questions, this is what you'd wanna to do to clone it. And there's not a way to use the same quiz in multiple places. So it's not going to exist as one quiz. When you add an existing quiz, you'll see here, it's going to clone. The action here is to clone the quiz. So you're creating a copy when you're doing this. But for now, I'm just going to create a new quiz by clicking here. And you can see I have all kinds of settings up at the top, total points, published. I can trash my quiz if I want to or delete it. Um, and this is one thing you'll want to make sure when you're done with your quiz, you want to click this little published check mark here at the top. And I can add a quiz description uh, if I wanted to. I could set a passing percentage of uh, maybe you need 80% to be able to pass this quiz, for example. I can limit the number of attempts if I wanted to say you can only try this quiz five times. And if you fail five times, an admin will need to come uh, delete one of your attempts in order for you to try again. So you can work with limit attempts if you wanted to. You could set a time limit if you only have five or 10 minutes to complete the quiz. You can set that here. You can opt to show correct answers. So if somebody gets an answer wrong, it will tell them what the uh, correct answer was. Or by default, that's turned off. And you can also select randomized question order if you want the questions to be randomly shown. So, you know, it's not necessarily question one, two, three, and four all the time. Maybe they're uh, mixed up. This prevents users from memorizing, you know, question one is A, question two is B, question three is C, because every time you load the quiz, it'll be a random order. So let me close these general settings here with this little tab in the upper right, and I can click add question. And so in the free core Lifter LMS plugin, there's three options, multiple choice, picture choice, and true false. And if I click multiple choice, we can see all kinds of options here. I can enter my question. I can enter uh, my choices right here. So if we say, we'll say which of these colors is a primary color. And then I would enter my options right here. And I can add new questions or new answers by clicking this plus button, add choice over here on the right. So. I can also select the correct answer uh, right here on, uh, on the sidebar by selecting which one um, is correct here. And each question type is a little bit different, but each question also has a description if you wanted to describe this question with a little more clarity. If you wanted to add an image to describe uh, the question in any way, maybe like a math equation or something like that. And then you can also embed a video if uh, you wanted to embed a video right here on this specific question. And I can also delete my question, clone my question, or collapse it and uh, expand it. If I have a lot of questions I'm working with, this collapse and expand is pretty useful. I can also set the points. If I wanted to say this question is worth five points, maybe this question is worth five points, and the next question is going to be worth only one point. And as you can see here, we're looking at the image choice question type, which is just like uh, the multiple choice, except we're going to add an image from our media library instead of uh, writing in a word or a sentence. I can also select multiple correct choices, and this would require that students select both A and B in order to get this question correct. So you couldn't just select A, you have to click both correct answers. That can sometimes be useful if you have to select all correct answers for some reason. And then we also have true false right here as well. Very similar to multiple choice, almost exactly the same. It's just pre-populated with this true false right here. One other thing, we have results clarification. 
if you wanted to provide an explanation, if the student gets the question wrong, you can kind of explain or let them know to reference a specific part of the course uh, where the correct answer was. Maybe like you could say here if they get this question wrong, uh, be sure to check back with lesson two where you can see dot 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 and kind of explain uh, where they can go to uh, read more about the uh, correct answer. But yeah, so that's an overview on creating a quiz with Lifter LMS. And once this is published, we'll be able to see this on the lesson itself. So if I view the lesson, the mark complete button will now be replaced with take quiz. And I can start the quiz and I'll see the questions that I've created here. And if you want a little bit more of an in-depth uh, explanation of the Lifter LMS quiz system, be sure to check out academy.lifterlms.com. We have a free quiz system masterclass course here that really breaks down in depth all of the uh, different types of quiz questions and what each one does. So if you want to go a little bit deeper on this topic, be sure to check this out. We'll have a link in the description below as well. My name is Will Middleton from Lifter LMS. Thanks for joining me in this video, and I'll see you in the next one.